graphical curves are, are a tedious and can be a fairly long thing to compute due to the fact that they have a lot of interlinked equations and conditions that can get very messy when trying to work by hand. So, but at the same time, they're a very complicated part, a very core part of our engineering as a whole, especially in mechanisms, due to the fact that they can show you how a four bar linkage or other sort of linkage is going to react uh, as they move through their range of motion. So, um, so to make this easier to calculate, we wrote the code that's presented in the report to be able to, so a user could just input their dimensions and angles of their four bar linkage and receive a coupler curve for how that four bar linkage is gonna move. The main method to write the code was to follow the pseudocode that, that was found in the LMS. From this, there were a variety of inequalities that handled different assemblies and different length linkages. We tested many examples for each of these different inequalities to make sure that the code could handle all of them. Then we started to change the coupler point and the coupler angle to make sure that it could handle that as well. All of these, all of these tests were checked with GeoGebra to make sure that we were getting the correct coupler curve. The main points of contention in our code came when we were trying to test our results against the GeoGebra um, drawings that came up. And two examples kind of highlight um, different realizations that we came through throughout the process. One was as shown in figure four on our report, where the GeoGebra curve and our curve in testing were the same, but inverted. And this just led to a deeper understanding of, our, of the way that GeoGebra um, handles the different assembly linkages. And so after, so we realized that just inverting our plot gives the exact same as GeoGebra. The other one was a bit more um, fundamental, where our GeoGebra or our curves would be different than GeoGebra when the um, Grashoff inequality became inequality, and we didn't know a way to mathematically figure out what the theta ranges should be. So instead, we took more of a visual empirical look at trying to study the GeoGebra drawings themselves and come up with what the different theta two limits should be, and that is shown in our code. Um, in the reference lines in the lab. To design the level locking crane, we first played around with the GeoGebra to use a trail and arrow method in order to produce a roughly horizontal curve. We found from this that there was seemed to be a certain ratio between the four links which would produce this curve. We then researched it and found it online. So ultimately we found that the level of the crane uh, is best reduced by a certain ratio between the linkages. Then we found this ratio to be uh, R1 to R2 to R3 to R4. And that would equal uh, 4 to 5 to 5. So we found that to be the best ratio uh, between the linkages. And that produces a level up in crane that roughly looks something like this, where this would be the four, five, two, and five of a uh, linkage. All right, and so uh, the coupler point is also very important. So we found that the coupler point would be right in the middle of R3, and so the angle would be zero, or beta would be zero, and uh, the distance from here would be whatever halfway R3 is. And uh, to apply this to a real life level up in crane, we multiplied this ratio by 3.55. And uh, that would give dimensions of 14.2, um, 17.75, 7.1, and then 17.75 on this other side. And these would all be in meters. And that's roughly uh, what an actual level up in crane would look like. Important aspect of design of the crane was the motion limits. So we found that the uh, line that was produced looked something like that. So it wasn't exactly horizontal for the entire uh, for its entire range of motion. So we found that uh, its range of motion was like 37 degrees to 102, and that's a theta two. But uh, it's really only horizontal for about 95 to uh, sorry 37 to 95 degrees. So that would be, you want to restrict the motion of the crane to uh, only between these angles.